Hi, and just today we are gonna see that <clears throat> what will be the Sherwood number for the low Reynolds number. So, in the case of the flow through a spherical particle at low Reynolds number, what will be the Sherwood number? So, in this case, we know that a uh, molar flux and it can be written as the mass transfer coefficient kc times c1 minus c2 let's call this equation number one and for the steady state diffusion of a through non diffusing b in the case of gases we can write the molar flux Na as Na is equal to DAB times P over RTZ times PBM where PBM is the logarithmic mean partial pressure difference and this is PA1 bar minus PA2 bar where PA1 bar and PA2 bar are the partial pressures if you don't know this equation then watch my previous videos where I have derived the steady state diffusion of A through the non-diffusing B in the case of gases. Now we can equate this both equations so we know that Kc times Ca1 minus Ca2 is equal to DAB P divided by RTZ PBM PA1 minus PA2 and we can write this equation as Kc times C1 minus C2 is equal to DAB times P over RTZ PBM and this we know that P is equal to CRT so PA1 bar can be written as CA1 times RT so this can be written as CA1 minus CA2 and if you take RT common then this both will cancel and this will also get cancelled so we are left with kc is equal to dab times p over z times pbm and for the dilute cases for dilute cases p over pbm is taken as unity so we are left with kc is equal to dab over z if we closely look at the dimensions of this mass transfer coefficient Kc, it's, we know that Na is in k moles per meter square second divided by our concentration is in k moles per meter cube and the dimensions of the mass transfer coefficient Kc will be equal to meter per second which is equivalent to the dimensions of the velocity. And if we consider in the case of equimolar counter diffusion of A through the B, if we consider steady state equimolar counter diffusion of A through B, then we can write this molar flux as Na is equal to Kc prime times Ca1 minus Ca2 and we know that in the case of steady state equimolar counter diffusion of A through the B we can write DAB over RTZ times Pa1 minus Pa2 bar so we can equate this let's call this equation number 3 let's call this equation number 4 if you equate these both equations, we know Kc prime times C1 minus C2 is equal to DAB divided by RTZ times PA1 bar minus PA2 bar. If you don't know this equation, then watch my previous video where I have derived the steady state equimolar counter diffusion of A through B. And we can write this equation as DAB over RTZ times C1 minus C2. And we can take RT as common because this is since P is equal to CRT. And this will be Kc prime C1 minus C2. And this term will get cancelled and RT will also get cancelled. So Kc prime is equal to DAB over Z. And from these two cases we know that Kc prime is equal to Kc. 
so kc prime is equal to kc but we are dealing with the spherical particle then what we are gonna do is if you take this equation so kc is equal to dab over we can replace this z by the radius of the sphere r so kc will be equal to dab over radius is half of a diameter so this will be d by 2 so kc is equal to 2 dab by d so this we can write as kc into d over dab is equal to 2 and this term on the left hand side of this equation is the shear root number as such is equal to 2 so hence we proved that in the case of the flow through the spherical particles at the low Reynolds number the shear root number is equal to 2 now depending upon this situation let's solve one example so here we have our question the spherical naphthalene ball of 2 mm diameter is subliming very slowly inside the stagnant air at 25 degrees celsius the change in the size of the ball during the sublimation can be neglected the diffusion coefficient of the naphthalene in the air at 25 degrees celsius is 1.1 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second and the value of the mass transfer coefficient is b times 10 to the power negative 3 meter per second and we need to find what is b so here we have the term stagnant this is our stagnant air so means the velocity of the air is zero means the Reynolds number is very very low and in this case we, we know that the Sherwood number mm. is equal to two now we know that in our heat transfer the Nusselt number which is analogous to Sherwood number in the heat transfer is equal to HL by K mm. so in the case of the mass transfer we are just gonna write this as Kc times D divided by DAB which is equal to 2 where in the heat transfer we take thermal conductivity but in the mass transfer we'll take the diffusivity or we call it as diffusion coefficient Kc is the mass transfer coefficient and H is the heat transfer coefficient so we know that Kc is equal to b into 10 to the power negative 3 meter per second into the diameter of this spherical naphthalene ball is 2 mm so this is 2 into 10 to the power negative 3 meters divided by the diffusivity is 1.1 into 10 to the power negative 6 meter square per second which is equal to 2 and we are going to calculate what will be b so b into 10 to the power negative 3 into 2 times 10 to the power negative 3 divided by 1.1 into 10 to the power negative 6 is equal to 2 and our b is equal to 1.1 so our b is equal to 1.1 so this was all the information regarding what will be the Sherwood number for very low Reynolds number and thank you for watching this video.